So you want to add sound to your project in processing, but it's not as simple as you might think. So the first thing is there's a couple steps you need to do. So first of all, so if you go and look on here, you see you go to sound and you're like, what are, which one of these do I actually want to use? So there's kind of a lot of stuff to look at. So this is under the libraries tab, by the way. So it's not part of the original package. So all this reference page that we've been using, these are things that are already available to you once you downloaded um, processing. So there's a lot of stuff here, but you don't see any sound stuff. So when you go to like, what, what if I want to add a song? Well, that's going to be in the libraries tab. So when you go into the libraries tab, you see all this other stuff like video, sound, all this other stuff that you might want, but it's not actually there. And it actually tells you how to do it. You go into there and add library, import library. So I'm going to walk you through that. So sound is one thing, it's an entire library. What that actually means is that it's not something that you downloaded when you downloaded processing. However, processing has a built-in uh, import function that you can use. So it's let's just go ahead and open up processing. So let's just open up my recent game that I just finished, Breakout, which is um, one of the funnest builds <laughs> there is. So once you get this open, all you have to do is click on Sketch, go to Import Library, Add Library, okay? So if you do that, it'll take you to all the libraries that are available. Anyone can add a library to this. So basically, if you created something that you're really proud of, you could put it up there as a package to download. So what we're looking for is sound. So if you type in the word sound, you'll see here's the one that's provided by the Processing Foundation. You see the little symbol next to it. And now you just click install. And this will take just a few seconds because it's not a huge package. And then once it's installed, you should see a green check mark. Now if yours gets stuck like that, just click somewhere else and then boom, it'll turn green. That means that this has now been installed and added to your processing library for use okay so that's good let's look at the the one that we're going to use which is the sound file so this right here if you look at all the options the one you want is sound file and this is where you're gonna need to learn these lines of code so we're gonna import the sound so this is from processing dot sound dot so this will be in our processing folder it'll also be dot sound that's the name of the new class that's been imported and then dot star just means import everything in there. Okay, even though we're just using class sound file, this is that's just what they've written. So I'm just gonna copy these two lines of code. So far so good. And I'm just gonna post those into my project. So this is the project I was working on. So just put that at the top. Just to verify that it works, I'm gonna run it. Okay, so nothing has changed because I've just imported two packages, but I'm not actually using them. Okay, this sound file file is just like this. So we call ball, ball, paddle, paddle. So we could name this whatever we want. So I could just name it song. This is the name of the object. So this is a song sound file. And you can have as many of these as you want. So if you have like a sound effect and a sound, a background song, or maybe each level has a different song, you can totally do that. Um, think about Mario, how it changes um, the sound depending on where you are, right? So what you then need to do is load the song. So this is a problem because although it's not that hard, you type in new sound file, that's the constructor of the class. And then you do type this, this is kind of common in Java. So you type this and then you type the location of the file. So I'm gonna call it song.mp3 because I've already got a file that we're going to use. The problem is I need to make sure that I put this song name this file name in that code so if I try to run this right now even though I typed it correctly it says could not find file so what that means is you need to go to your packages or where your folder is and for me like I like to use Windows Explorer it just tells me my quick access so here's the breakout folder but let's say you didn't know where it is so if you actually look at um, here if you go file save as if you're not using Windows 10 or you don't know how to use Windows Explorer or something, you can just let it tell you where it is. So it's in this PC, it's in documents, it's in processing. So once you get to that folder, you'll be able to find breakout. You're looking for the folder that has these four files. Because remember, each class is its own file. So block, paddle, etc. So once you've found it, so once you get to that folder, whoops, I don't want to do that. Uh, anyways, once you get to the folder, it looks like this with these 
four classes, you're going to drag the MP3 or the sound file that you want to use. The name of the file must be done correctly and the extension must be correct, which in this case is .mp3, so song.mp3. All right, so now that we've got that in there, now we should not have that error. Yay, no error. Now this is not an error. This is just basically telling you that it's taking a little bit longer to do what it normally would do faster. <laughs> okay, so far so good. Now we just need to play the song. So let me just quickly jump back. This will be the last thing. So if you scroll down, you'll see all the options you have. So you can either play it, that's what I'm gonna use, or you can do loop it, which means when it finishes, it'll get back to the beginning, or you can stop it. So these are the kinds of the things that you might want to do. So for my game, just to test it, I'm going to put it in the mouse press. So it's not going to just play until, so I'll do song.play, or actually I'll do song.loop, because I don't want it, in case you're like playing for a long time. Um, so that way it'll just keep going, and if you don't die and it gets to the end of the song, it'll just start over again. Okay, the only problem with this is if I don't, since I'm doing this on mouse press, this is just a detail that I want you to know because you're gonna see this happen anyway. Is if I press the mouse, it starts playing. But if I press the mouse again, oh, oh, that's cool. So it, it actually started it over again. So I guess that was part of the function for loop. It restarts it. So never mind. there's no problem. I hope you guys enjoyed it, although it didn't stop. <laughs> I guess I probably just have to close the sketch. All right, so hope you guys enjoyed that video. Sometimes I like think I know how things work, but I don't really completely understand them until I try to explain them, but now I do. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hope you can add sound to your game with no problems. Talk to you later.